Belinda here, welcome back. Um, glad you can join me today. I'm working on a 10 by 20 inch canvas, and here I have white. I've mixed a teeny bit of black to make grey. So I'm going to go with um a kind of a minimalist look, and I'm gonna cover my canvas and I'll see you in a minute. Right guys, so, um, <clears throat> I am going to add a tiny bit of this leftover grey. And I'm going to add a tiny bit of black. Now this is uh, Mars Black. <laughs> yeah, it's not supposed to be dripping. It's supposed to be running. Okay, well, we'll just go with the drops. And then I have um, fluorescent yellow. This is a beautiful color, my new tube. And if you have a look here, even though it's fluorescent, it's kind of like an iridescent. Beautiful. So I'm going to add some of that. Hopefully, that should be enough. So I'm thinking I'm just going to go with the, the two colors for now. All right, guys, I'm going to add a bit here, and I'm not happy with the fact that there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There has to be seven. So I really am loving these colors, that are, the, the cells that are popping up. That's really awesome. There's no silicone in my paint, guys. some yellow. That's probably going to end up being a really big one because lots of paint. OK, 
Okay. Um. Give that a blow. Right, I'm not sure if I like it, but anyway, I'm going to blow this way a bit. Yeah, I think I like it. You guys let me know in the comments below. I'm going to give this a bit of a torch. Okay. Yeah, I think I, I like that. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure about this end here. I'm wondering if I should just redo that. Let me see. I love this that it's all so nice and it looks so nice and clean if you know what I mean so I'm gonna scrape that off I'm not happy with this part uh, let's go with this Just even that out. Right. And I'm just going to put some more grey on. And I'm just making sure that my edges are covered well. Right, let's do that section again. some black and the yellow I'll give that a torch So now, as I said, with the numbers, go one, two, three, four, five. So we have to make two out of that. Five is okay, but it's 
six is not. So, <clears throat> so this way. I'm happy with. I think I'm going to blow a little bit this way. Just on that petal there. Yeah, I'm happy I redid that. Don't forget you need to wipe your sides and your underneath, just scrape it. And that would help it stop running. So I scrape like all of my artwork, that's uh, a given. Right, so I really like this. I Funny enough, I've actually got some gold here, which I was thinking that I should drizzle. Mm. Yeah, how about we just drizzle a teeny bit, and if it's not good, then I'll just uh, scrape it off. So I have this gold here, which is absolutely stunning. Um, let's see. I don't want to put it too close. Actually, I like that. Let's bring that in here. Just a hint, and I don't know if it's actually going to sink. I would imagine it will to uh, to some uh, some degree. Um, yeah, let's bring it in here. over the edge just to make that look complete right so this gold is um enamel and it's what you buy and you use for airplanes models And it's already drying up. Okay. So this is the one I use, I'm using. You can see that. All right, guys. I'm gonna just scrape off my edges, and I'll bring you in for a close up. Okay guys, this is it. Isn't that yellow beautiful? Every time I use it, I'm just so impressed. 
So I'm going to show you that gold, hopefully I can get a good angle. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So just adding a little extra, just a little bit of a point of interest. Love these cells. Again guys, so no silicone. My paint I will put in the description below. I do have a video on how I mix my paints. It is one part paint, one part water, two parts of Floetrol. And I use the the Australian Floetrol. So, really love it. I'm surprised actually that I've got so many of these little soles and lacing. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you're interested in purchasing any of my artwork, you can contact me on withbade at gmail.com, which will also be in the description below. And um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.